Right, Aliana and David, I can tell you this wildfire has been unforgiving and relentless. I want to point over to the hillside where this fire has been going for hours and hours. We heard people who live up in the hillside were evacuated in the middle of the night, and we've just continuously seen these hot spots, flames going off. Um, the smoke comparatively has thinned out compared to maybe even just an hour ago, but you can still see that heavy smoke rising into um, the night sky here. And we're just going to let this truck go by real quick. Oh, wow. If you look over in that direction, an explosion of fire. It's just unbelievable what people are having to deal with. And it may be hard to see right now, but uh, when it was light out, we did see some large structures there. This is a field. We saw a pumpkin patch over on the other side, so a rural community here. Uh, we know that people were evacuated and just hoping that no one was over there in that direction. We saw fire departments from all sections of Washington State coming through, including DuPont and all the way from Woodenville. It's been an emotional day for people who have been keeping watch over up in that direction where their homes lie. Uh, we even spoke with one mother and daughter who said that uh, their her husband, uh, this woman's uh, this woman's husband is um, a firefighter, so he's actually up there trying to um, get this fire under control. But it seems over the past several hours that's just been a very difficult process. And um, we heard the helicopters came in right around one o'clock um, and they've continued to go back and forth trying to uh, get some of the hot spots from the air. Um, and you know where we are now uh, down on the field level, um, we spoke with a couple. They've lived in this community for at least four decades and they're keeping watch over the fire that is ravaging their community. I'm sorry, it just broke my heart to look at it, you know, because that's your home, you know, and I think about what if we have to evacuate because they all had to evacuate. And again, you're getting a live look at the fires that just continue to go off on that hillside. It's a large brush area and this road, um, this is 78th Street East was evacuated. There were a lot of people um, just standing right by their cars, taking a look at their property, hoping for the best that their homes would not be destroyed. But in fact, uh, deputy asked them to leave not too long ago because the, they say this fire is quickly moving down the hill. It jumped about 50 to 100 feet. So a very unpredictable circumstance, a fire that has been ravaging this area for hours and hours now. We're going to continue to stay out here and monitor the situation for you and bring you another update in one hour. Reporting live in Sumner, Jennifer Lee, Q13 News.